Hi, this is Mark. And this is Christine. And welcome back to the next tutorial for a shooter scroller game. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to scroll the background. We'll show you what the game will look like at the end of the tutorial, create what's called a view, and then create a view controller to manage the scrolling of the background. Let's start by showing the scrolling background you'll have at the end of the tutorial. I see my plane like before and can still fire bullets, but now the ocean tile is moving. Now that we've shown the game, we can unbold that from our list. Open the file we left off for the last tutorial. We want to create a view, so go into the room, and the first thing we want to do is make the room taller. Go to a tab called Settings. See where it labels Height, and change that to 1440. This will make the level three times as tall, and we can unbold that from the list. But we still want the part the player sees to only be 480 pixels high. So we're going to show a part of the level at all times and be scrolling up at all times. To only show part of the level, go to the Views tab. Click Enable Use of Views, and we can unbold the Create View step for our task list. The box that says Visible when Room Starts is already checked, or should be checked. So even though our level is really tall, we still want the view to only be 480 pixels tall. That's why the width of the view is set to 640 and the height of the view is set to 480. But remember we want to scroll up, but right now our view is starting at a Y value of 0. Doesn't 0 mean the top of the screen? It does. So we need to start our view at the bottom of the screen and scroll up. To start at the bottom, we have to change the Y value. We need to change it to what are to whatever the room height is, minus 480. So remember our room height is 400, 1440. So 1440 minus 480 is 960. Type 960 into the Y value. This sets our view to start at the bottom of the screen and we can unbold that from the list. Okay, so the plane looks like it's at the top, but our view starts at the bottom. I don't think we'll be able to see our plane if we run our game. Let's change that by moving the plane to the bottom. Go to the Objects tab and choose the plane. Right click and delete the plane that's there already. Now scroll down on the room view and place the plane near the bottom of the screen, like this. Now the plane will start where the view starts and we can unbolt the need to reposition it for, from our list. Now let's make sure our plane can be seen when we start the game by running it. Looks good. You can still see the plane, still fire bullets. But it looks like I've done a lot of work and nothing's changed. It may look that way, but above the screen, um, if we move the plane up, there is more ocean tile. And when we create em enemies and other objects, then that means there can be enemies up there waiting to be faced. So let's prove that there's more ocean tile above the screen by having the view scroll up for the player to see it all. All right. So first, create a view controller object. Just like any other object, create a new object and name it obj underscore view controller. The view controller only scrolls the screen, but has no sprite. It doesn't look like anything. To scroll the screen, we want to move up a little bit on every step. Click Add Event, Step, Step. Remember, steps happen 30 times a second, so it happens so fast that it will look smooth to the player. How are we going to scroll up our view? Remember in the Views tab in the room, we could set the Y value of the view to change which part of the level we want to see. We're going to be changing the Y value from this object until it reaches zero, which is the top of the level. GameMaker has a built-in variable for this. Go to the Control tab and drag the box with the letters VAR in it. This is the set variable icon. The variable name is view underscore Y view. We want it to scroll up. I remember from tutorial one that moving up is subtracting from the Y value. That's right. So choose minus two for the value. So it's a subtraction by two each step. Then check relative. This will scroll the view and we can unbold that from our list. The way to get the game to actually scroll is to put the view controller in the room. Open the room and put it anywhere in the room. I'll put it in the top left corner so that I can see it and that I can check that it's there if I don't remember if I already put it in there or not. Now let's run the game.
It's scrolling up. That's good. Oh, but the plane went off the screen. Oh, now the background is gone and I can see the ugly gray again. Now that we're scrolling up, it doesn't know when to stop. It just keeps going above the top. And our plane doesn't move on its own, so if you don't press any arrow keys, it will stay at the bottom of the screen while this background scrolls up without it. Let's fix these issues. I don't want to see the gray, so I'm going to stop the game if I get to the top. Go back to the View Controller object. In the Control tab, right next to Set Variable is a Test Variable icon. Drag that in. Use the same variable name, view y view, view underscore y view. Again, remember that zero is the top, so we want to finish the game if view becomes less than zero. Choose smaller than for the operation and leave zero as the value. This will check every step if the view has scrolled above the top. If it has, we want to end the game. Remember the end game is the main two tab and it looks like a red stop button. Now we've checked if the game is finished and can unbold that. But we also want our plane to move up when the background is moving up, even if no arrow keys are pressed. The way we moved the plane in Tutorial 1 was using a jump, and we're going to do the same thing. Go to the Move tab and drag the jump icon in. We don't want this view controller to move, but the plane instead. In the Applies To section, choose the Other button and pick the plane in the drop-down list. We want our plane to move at the same speed as the view, so set the Y value to negative 2 and check relative. Now our plane will move up at the same speed as the view is moving. We can unbold the scroll plane from our list and let's see if our game works better now. I see the background scrolling and when I don't press any keys the plane stays put. And now when I get to the end of the level, the game ends instead of seeing that gray stuff. Perfectly done. Remember to always save your work and ask your teachers if you have any questions, and we'll see you at the next tutorial.